December 15th, 1951. Dear Miss Hamp, you will be glad to know that two boxes of eggs and the tongues, tens of tongue, <laughs> all arrived safely. And once again, we all wish to thank you most sincerely for your extreme generosity. Mr. Martin, one of the older members of our staff, this has been on the sick list for some time, and we therefore let him have the lion's share of the eggs. One whole boxful, in fact, and of course, he was delighted to get them. <laughs> the tins of tongue <laughs> would be a welcome addition to our larders, and in my particular case, will be put on one side for a special occasion. <laughs> We are sending you a little gift for Christmas. It is linen. And, and we hope you will not have to pay duty on it. We will mark it Christmas gift and keep our fingers crossed. Anyway, we hope you will like it and accept it with our sincere best wishes for Christmas and the coming year. <laughs> My name is certainly not of Welsh origin. As it is pronounced to rhyme with the French word Noel, I think it may have its origin in France. <laughs> with sincere best wishes for Christmas and the New Year from all of us here at Marks and Co. 17th of January, 1952. Dear Miss Hanf, first of all, we are so glad you liked the cloth. It gave us a lot of pleasure to send it, and it was just one little way of thanking you for all your kind gifts over the last few years. You may be interested to know that it was embroidered quite recently by an old lady of over 80 who lives in the flat uh, apartment next door to us. She lives all by herself and does quite a lot of needlework as a hobby. She does not often part with any of her work, but my wife managed to persuade her to sell us this cloth. And I think she made her a present of some of the dried egg you sent us, which helped a lot. <laughs> if you must wash your Bible, we should advise ordinary soap and water. Uh, put a teaspoon of soda in a pint of warm water and use the soapy sponge. I think you'll find this will remove all the dirt and you can then polish it with a little lanolin. <laughs> 